Welcome to part two, uh, web configurator. So as you can see, we got that address, and we'll just type that in our browser. And this is your web GUI for FreeNAS. So it has system information, settings, reporting, check your reports, see what's what. So I'll actually just close all those tabs, so nice and orderly. To start off, you'll want to set up your network. So your default gateway, you can find that under Network Summary, under Network in the top left, Network Summary. Just copy that default route. That is your router, if you actually know the IP. Then we don't need any name servers because we won't be accessing this from the internet. So just click Save. We'll want to create a new inter interface and let's see, we'll just name this LAN. IP address of 192.168.1.108. You can also do DHCP, but I like to know the actual address in, in case my computer doesn't want to find it by name. So 24 subnet, and you can find that under the network summary. And next, we'll go to storage in the top left. You can also find it in the left sidebar. We'll do volume manager. We'll call this storage and select my hard drive. You can also select more than one hard drive with uh, control left click. Then it'll be a Z ZFS file system. And we'll just do add. As you can see, it takes a little bit. And we have successfully added it. We shall create a new data set right now. We'll name this common for common files add a data set we'll also create a one named uh, Kevin because we'll be doing um, a home folder setup where we have a user common storage and the user has both read and read write execute permissions on their own folder and the common storage while no other users have access to the user's Kevin, in this instance, um, folder. So add data set. Then we'll want to go to account, users, add user. Let's add an admin account. We'll do home directory mode 775, just like that. All six boxes except other. Full name, admin, admin at local. Dot local password password okay and users add another user and Kevin and his home directory will be about storage Kevin and we'll want to set that as 775 yet again so Kevin Kevin Local password. We we'll also want to set the admin account's password. And what this will do is change the web GUI for access to this. So just password for now. So then we'll want to go back to storage and on the common data set, change permissions. We'll change that to nobody. And on the group, we'll do no group. And we'll have 777 permissions. So all the checkboxes checked, change. Then on the Kevin volume or data set, change permissions. We'll do Kevin. And then the group is going to be admin. And we're going to do 775 on that. So the admin group will have read, write, execute, and also the user group, read, write, execute. So then, let's see. We'll go over to services, wrench icon on SIFs, and just leave all that stuff as default. And make sure the guest account is nobody. You can just click OK. Then go up in the top left to sharing, Windows SIFs. And SIFs is just another name for Samba, SMB. So if you're on Apple or Unix, Linux, you can just do SMB colon slash slash forward slash, obviously. 
and the IP or the actual DNS name. So let's do uh, common browse mount storage common and let's allow guest access to that. Let's enable that service for now. Go back to sharing, add another SIF share. We'll just name this Kevin for now. Mount storage Kevin. And we're not allowing guest access. Click OK. So now that that's created, we can just do um, go to Windows Explorer. Top up here, FreeNAS YouTube. I think I named it FreeNAS. Sometimes the DNS doesn't work, so I'll just do the IP. Well, now it appears. So, as you can see, there's a common and a Kevin folder. So let's. I'm a guest right now, so I can access the common folder, and also I can't access the Kevin folder. So in common folder, we're actually going to create a downloads folder, and also we're going to drag on over a text document for later use and log file. So we can close that right now. And we're pretty much all done with the web configurator to begin with after we set up that SIF share. So here's uh let's just wait around for part three plugins.